Good morning, folks. Today is not supposed to rain, and uh, I can see a break in the clouds. That uh, doesn't mean anything this time of year. We are heading out for a quick Home Depot run. It's not very long uh, that it'll take us, and Lenny needs to dry, so I think that's fine. Uh, we need to get a few screws that uh, enough of them were stripped or um, I'm guessing they weren't like stainless steel or something like that, whatever it might be. Um, and I'm going to get a few new bolts. He's going to have some fresh hardware. On the lights. On the lights, yeah. Yeah, these all came off those lights. Uh, some of them stripped. <laughs> I had to cut one off. Like, it's a whole thing. Oh, I need. speaking of, I need to get an oscillating blade. A uh, metal oscillating blade. A metal cutting gun. So. And we need to get some more drill bits because all the bars are... For, that's just signs of progress. And more spray foam. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and spray foam. You gonna make a list? Yeah, four <laughs> things. Four things. So uh, I do want to point out a few cool things. Uh, just made a few changes. I'm actually stocking up the uh, the bag here with like a little toolkit and some uh, bungees and things like that. Uh, batteries are working very well. And by the way, if uh, you didn't know this, you actually have to activate the battery. Like you have to turn it on in order to have it use both batteries. I found this out on a few rides that uh, only one battery was working and I'm like man this is really going down fast and I double checked that just to check the status of the batteries one was completely full because it wasn't activated for whatever reason but my handlebars were not quite high enough and you can see you know compared to Emma's at the highest point mine are much higher I went ahead and added my extender you can do that right down here and I don't think it looks weird at all I mean not any more weird than the whole thing looks right and uh, that's been working out all right emma tried it though and you noticed a little pain like it was too high for you so you were noticing yeah, pain here Joel has a long torso compared to me that's rude <laughs> i have long legs to the long torso and so for mm -hmm. me like this is the perfect posture where, the way it came where for him it pulls his arms up where they should be but then for me it was pushing my arms back in a weird way yeah yeah i also had uh had a the little plastic cover on these Boy, doesn't make a difference taking that off. <laughs> All right, let's hit the road. So we'll try out a slightly new position, a little higher up on the chest. And uh, it might be slightly lower facing, like uh, downwards facing, but it seemed the, uh, the best of the two all, you know, options we had. Beautiful dogs. So, yeah, even with the, uh, uh, the extra height here, I feel better. It... Yeah, yeah, no leaning forward, you know, I don't have to lean forward. This is nice. Yeah. Now, yeah, between the helmet cam and here, I feel like you're kind of riding. Like, it feels like, you know, like you're on the bike as well, uh, rather than, you know, sort of just up in space. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? I, th I think I'll switch it up, though, especially on uh, longer rides that are more scenic. I think that'll be nice. Sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. People are just getting off the freeway here or about to get on the freeway. So their like expectation of speed limits is like super high. And there is like no shoulder on this side. But people also get mad when you go the wrong direction, even though there's a sidewalk over there. So can't win here. That's all right. People will slow down. I like to take the lane though, because people will still be like in the lane, not giving you three feet. But most folks do, uh, they yield, they'll like hop over a lane. But yeah, going 27, you can you can really keep up with traffic here, I'll tell you. Woo. There are bikes out there, dual motors, they'll go 40, which is, that's wild. That's pretty wild. Smelling all that bacon and breakfast food makes me hungry. Mm -mm. You guys smell it now? Now that I said it. <laughs> All right, we'll get off the main road here and cut through. Let's see. Yeah. Every now and then you catch up with some uh, an interesting like bike trail. Uh, it, some of the buildings out here also have some nice, especially the newer buildings, some really nice bike infrastructure like bike parking garages and like little bike lanes and tra it's kind of cool. Uh, encouraging people uh, whoop, to uh, <laughs> to bike in when they can. Uh, you know, space is limited, real estate is limited, so it kind of makes sense. It's a win-win, I guess, for everybody, if you like biking. Go ahead and cut through here. Oh, look at this. 
Interesting. It's the uh, the bus barn for Lake Washington School District. Oh, let's scoot in here. Yeah. Look at all of uh, Lenny's friends. Man, I thought Lenny was faded. That bus isn't that old and it's faded. And it's interesting. Its nose is not, but the rest of the body is like super faded. Um, Hmm, Inter they have a there's a really a big international shop, but every now and then, especially for the uh, the shorter buses, they'll still have the heavy duty chassis. But uh, those will be Bluebird. No Thomases here. Kind of interesting. Growing up, um, my school district always had the Thomas buses. A little fun fact, something that nobody cares about. <laughs> All right. Since it's on the way, I just want to see, did anything change free stuff wise? We got a lot of the uh, good stuff though. See, oh, somebody else has been here. Oh, okay. What else has changed? The, can the canoe has, has moved. Try not to uh, catch any glass in our tires. God, that would be a beautiful uh, reclamation, I'll tell you. Doesn't look like anything's changed over here. Hmm. Well, somebody got a lot of glass on the ground. What the heck, guys? Savages. Hmm. Oh yeah, they really move things around here. Oh, here's that beautiful windshield. Man, I tell you. Huh? What do you think? Get a nice skylight in? No. Well, I mean, I'd be kind of obnoxious to get back. God, there's so many good materials in here. Ah. And uh, it's interesting seeing how they, they put everything together. There's another piece of that stuff we got last time. Where? Oh, that's that stuff there? Yeah. That one's not, that one's chipped off. That's okay. Nice table, though, and that fold out table. That's a. Yeah. Going up. And back down. It's like a roller coaster in the city. <laughs> okay. Let's see. We can cut through here. Yeah. I think there's a there's a shortcut through here, right? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, don't enter. What? Oh, right over here. Never mind. When school is in session, don't enter when school is in session. Okay. Can't do this with your car. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um. Oh, Pfft. not much of a shortcut. We could have just gone around. The Home Depot. Seems like a familiar sight. Almost like we were just here. Hmm. Quickly walked over to Fred Myers to get Emma's deodorant because she stinks. Do not put that in the video. Nope. Sorry. No, cut it I need to know that you you're no. smelling. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Fred Meyer's out of their mind with these prices. Seven thirty-nine for an old spy. Like what? I buy a two-pack from Walmart for like six bucks, five bucks, if that. I want thirteen bucks for this humble uh, native, whatever that is. Fifty, uh, fifteen bucks. Get out of here. What? Seven bucks for this. What's going on in the deodorant world right now? I want to rant for a second about something that really bothers me. Every time we're at the stupid self-checkout system, which by the way, more and more stores are going to like only self-checkout, but I have no problem with it. I see why people would. I digress. Every single time we're there, they go, how many bags do you wish to purchase? Now, in some areas that we've been to of the country, that's not a thing. They don't care about how many bags you use. Why? Because that's just like a cost of doing business. Now, however, there's like 
Yeah, you have to pay what, eight cents, nine cents, 12 cents in some cases? Yeah, it's a Washington tax. Yeah, I think in Oregon it was 20 cents. Yeah. Out of their minds. But how many bags do you wish to purchase? Not a damn one. Why would anybody wish to purchase these bags? <laughs> it's so stupid. And by the way, they get you because, oh, they left the wood out. Hey, all those cedar is water resistant. Anyway. Oh, this is for, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. But still, who wishes to purchase bags? Like, don't offer it to me like that. How many bags do you wish to purchase? So, no, none, none at all. And you then he yells at the machine. Yeah, no, because how do you enact change? By raising a stink. <laughs> you start yelling at the robot in the stupid store. The stupid robot. <laughs> I love this little thing where you can, uh, you can figure out which size your, uh, your thread is and all that. Got all sorts of screws. Lenny's getting brand new hardware. Looking at this uh, Gallons fridge. I like the style fridge. I think, think it's cute, yeah. We want it in black though, not red. I like the red, she likes the black. I don't like red in anything. Yeah. Fun fact for everybody, I oh, hate yeah. color red. Somebody, uh, <laughs> somebody and I mentioned that yesterday. Oh, you should put a red accent on Lenny like the Tippins. No. Emma doesn't like red. No, no, I do think that that's kind of a smaller fridge compared to Bailey's, but I think it should be fine. We're also looking at these and I'm thinking, you know, a freezer space might be nice. But then again, you know, when you find a good deal on like meat and such, you kind of want to stock up a little bit. Um, these fridges I think are very nice, but too much. It's too much, like two doors, that was too much for us. I think it would be nice to have a uh, little free, like chest freezer or something like that or something. Yeah, I don't know, you find a good deal, you stuck up on your materials. I think it's a little overkill for us right now. If we can offer to in the future, like maybe, but yeah. I don't think we need to buy them right now. Yes, these fridge, this is a big old fridge. Uh, LG is a brand I, I'm gonna stay very clear of. They are notorious for having a, the motors and them give out, so. I do like the Samsung glass fridges. Oh yeah, but. but they're expensive and yeah. we don't get all that. Yep, yep, that's all right. Ah, yeah, lots of options, but I think we're gonna keep it simple here. All right, four cans of big crack filler. <laughs> Spray foam. And a couple of screws and, and, and bolts and nuts. 65 bucks, are you kidding me? What in the, what is going on? I don't know. I really think that Redmond has a beautiful campus out here. I love these, uh, love these things. They kind of remind me of uh, Fred Hutch. We had a beautiful uh, kind of statue sort of thing with similar materials. I think it's awesome. If you get something like that for Lenny. I don't know, on this roof. Yeah, a nice like, a nice, a nice crown for Lenny, you know? Hey, we're getting a solid three right now, so. No, we're getting 4.6. That's what Le Letty says we're getting 4.6. Seven points, yeah, or close to eight. Seven point, I forget what it was, but it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. Oh, what a beautiful day. Lovely day for a trail ride. Fun fact, the uh, folks in Spandex cruising by are definitely doing, what, 20 miles an hour, 22? At least they were cruising, man. They're passing us, and we're just like taking a leisurely pace back. I'm enjoying this. This is nice. Pedal assist too, about 13 to 15 miles an hour. It's just perfect. Look at this beautiful. I mean, you can't beat this, guys. How nice is this? Ah, beautiful. A whole family getting out for a nice cycling day. I love you never see cyclists like. Doing anything but smiling, man. Oh, I love that. Oh. And it's uh, it's fun. It's just so much fun. Like I, I don't know. I know a lot of you guys probably enjoy the gym. I am not one of those people. I need to be tricked into uh, into exercise. I need to have fun while I'm exercising. Oh, I love seeing so many people like having a great time. Oh, it's so awesome. Let's cruise through here. Still very clean. Decently clean. Everybody's living there. Oh, somebody's got, got a leak. It's not like that is that is such a stressful thing dealing with leaks, especially if you're like not aware how um, you know you're not sure what options there are or 
uh, you're not sure how to do it right or maybe you try like silicone because that would be like the oh yeah the front porch <laughs> but uh yeah that's a stressful thing dealing with leaks and mold and and then your interior panels warping that's uh, empathy strong empathy i think we got all of our leaks pretty much fixed up right yeah we just gotta finish that one yeah just just the one in the front so we got that metal panel we got some removal to do i was gonna leave it because i wanted to reuse the uh there's a holiday rambler there uh because i wanted to use the antennas but uh, i don't think we're gonna be able to do that so that's all right not a big deal oh i show that to you guys before the burnt down uh caravan Whew. oh geez we are back and it has not rained yet so what does that mean hopefully lenny is a little more dried off also with the lights the way that they are it feels kind of like a showgirl room in here with the pink and the lights and <laughs> i don't know this is what i imagine the show we got to add white feathers and <laughs> all right so uh i am going to uh do the outside stuff we are waiting for some butyl tape and then i'm going to start cutting these off and um, you know i might actually do that sooner rather than later probably uh do a, a round of paint here get up on the roof and just before painting cut those off maybe yeah 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 so anyways today's video is going to be a bit of a longer one i hope you don't mind uh i always have fun e-bike ride adventure and shopping and then also a little building so yeah, so Joel's gonna paint on the outside. I'll be in here finishing up the foam insulation. And then I'm going to sand and stain the panels while that dries. And then once the spray foam is dried, which should take about an hour or so, I'm gonna start laying floor. Yes, uh, only once it's dried because this stuff is nasty. Did any of it fall on the ground last night? Yeah, one, one glob right there. Little glob, that's all. Yeah, yeah, so let's go. All right, we're bringing all the tools today. Let's continue. Uh, I hate to put them on the ground, but that's our best option here. Need a little table. Oh, yep, see, there's water coming out of that and everything. Gosh darn it. No, no, the rails. Yeah, definitely. Uh, just tons of water in there um it's definitely causing some drippage to a couple spots i might go back in and sand we'll see um yeah i'm not expecting perfection but uh, i don't want like silly little like easy things that could have been fixed like i don't want any of that and i love that this paint does blend with itself very well um but yeah anytime i touch like up here um it just it pulls the water out so that being said i'm going to probably avoid most of these areas and come back to them on another nicer day uh it's a bummer not a big deal though uh it doesn't have to be painted right now i guess uh you know i was just hoping to do that but i am going to paint the back uh we're gonna get the back uh, as good as it can be because i can't put uh <laughs> our stop lamps back in our turn signals and such uh, without you know that being good and painted because i don't want to pull them off and put them back it's, uh, we're not doing that i'm doing that but uh oh yeah but this is all flat so uh because of this i mean there's nothing there's no water hiding uh yeah yeah so we can get this spot we can get the roof i can at least take a towel to the roof and see all the areas uh, might even be able to, you know, I bet you it's holding water up there, but I might be able to get some of these areas down here. Um, and then over time, it'll kind of all build up, I think it's, you know, in, in, in mesh. Um, with thick enough paint, though, I can all, it'll also allow me to kind of wet sand. Um, you know, some of these kind of uneven areas, not a big deal. You know, I, I just want around the lights to be good enough. That's my uh, priority uh, today, at least. Oh, yeah, that's full of paint, so really gob it on around there 
and then we'll blend it back in. We'll uh, smooth the edges, I should say. Smooth the edges and we'll get, I got a smaller roller just for here. Let's get back in there, that's all right. Ugh, the rain really wreaked havoc. We should have enough time before our next rain though, before, hopefully to allow this to dry. And these, uh, these streaks, what it left before, not a big deal actually. Uh, painting over them seems to be working that out. So ah, a little bummed about the side, but we will uh, not be done for a while. So we'll be back in here soon enough. There are a couple runs too that we can fix up. Ah. At least all of the small things, the harder to reach places are uh, uh, decently covered. They're good to go. Um, a lot of these spots will end up touching back up with black as well. So we're not uh, worried about perfection. Um, everything, oh, well, there's a spot, uh, but most things are like one coat down. Um, the light areas, we've got uh, two, a thicker coat on the second round. Um, so we can install the lights once that dries. That's a nice thing. We've got screws for that. Yeah, it's coming along. Uh, and I suspect we will, any of the visible areas, at some point in the future, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, sand them down and kind of redo that. Uh, yeah, yeah, because it's not gonna be, I mean, the rain really screwed things. I should have known better, but it's also one of those things that you kind of want to uh, hope for the best sort of thing. <laughs> so. Not a big deal. Okay, we're going up the ladder. Cause I did not remove that. And it's leaking. Thought I could get away with that. False. Oh, it's warm up here. Oh yeah, it's warm up here. Okay. Try to keep my clog clogs off here. All right. And my wallet, so I'll scratch all the paint off. Boy, oh boy, did it turn out to be a beautiful day today. It's, uh, it's a shame to be doing work when we could be out exploring on a beautiful spring day. But, uh, oh, f uh, two fun facts, actually. One, uh, the bus roof is surprisingly dirty considering <laughs> it's just been raining, not terribly windy. Uh, and two, yesterday a uh, crow apparently was not used to seeing the bus here. And uh, didn't you say a crow ran into the the, the rear of the window, something like that? The rear of the bus. I heard a big, I was in there. I heard a big <laughs> crow fly away. <laughs> oh, man. I guess not. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, uh, it's only crows doing that. It's not going to be other drivers. We just install a skylight right here? No, this would be a weird place to have one and we get really hot when we're driving. The okay.
afraid you. Thank you. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Oh, take this. I won't be using that anymore up here, uh, but just watch the tip, please, Giddy. Guess we'll start in the center then, because this is real thick stuff. <clears throat> oh, very thick stuff. Oh, wow, that's that's laying down. Oh. If you're wondering why we are going to paint those gray, it's just because I don't want them to stand out. You know, we don't want to look like a school bus by any means. Yeah. Okay. Get out of there. Oh, that's stuck in there. Okay. Alrighty. And you know, you wouldn't even know there were some patches up here. Oh yeah going much nicer. I really hope it does not rain again tomorrow. The weather is uh, real iffy on that front. Uh, my weather app, which I forget which source it uses, it uses a couple of them I believe, uh, or I can change them. Uh, that says yes it's going to rain for sure. Emma says no not until Tuesday so but she's using Apple uh, weather and I don't know where they get their information from so is it trustworthy we are laying it on much thicker this time uh, yeah looks a lot better I do think the first coat was still pretty good though you can see some uh, lighter spots and, uh, and that's fine like not a big deal uh, up here I'm not worried at all about you know I just want to make sure it's protected uh, but down at the bottom, you know, that's gonna need to be redone a little bit. All right, the last of this bucket, and we have what, two, three cans more? I think two. Two more, yeah. Yeah. How's the uh, sanding going? Almost, almost done, right? Almost done. Yeah. And then. Uh, Blow them off, and I'll put some more um, stain on them. Thank you for bringing this. Yeah, I hope it. I hope if it lasts tomorrow, though, I'll, I'll knock out some sanding and repainting tomorrow. Yeah, if we can get this done, that'd be great. That'd be ideal. Then we can do the black trim. After this, though, right? uh, up here, I'm done after this. Yes. I don't think we need another third coat up here. Okay. And figures you get all the way to the end, and this you just have to come and hang out in it. Get out of there. All right. May you live a longer life. This stuff is pretty toxic to bugs. Confident. All right. The last real thick pass up front. They're uh, up top, rather. Okay. Okay. Oh, all right. Lest we fall off the ladder here. Alrighty, I have cleaned all of these lights. My dogs are out there. <laughs> and uh, this one in particular actually was like, there was like this much wire to work with, so it is very ugly. Um, but the, <laughs> the wires were like frayed and they'd already been butt connected like but it was all uh, it was crazy so let's go ahead and we're gonna get these installed but we're also going to seam seal so i'm gonna seam seal place the lights and then screw them in this is gonna be a whole thing i might need emma's help for lenny is getting his lights back i'm sure he's very excited all right we'll dab 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 and then i'll throw a bead around here and then we'll put a little bit of this just over. So I'm going to run the cables in individually. All right, there we go. Okay. And he gets brand new screws. They're stainless. Two of these. Okay. And now we top it up with some goop. A lot of awkward uh, maneuvering for <laughs> something so simple. <laughs> okay, there we go. And then we'll just 
clean it up slightly anything that's visible okay good all right and that won't be visible from the bottom so lenny has one light in uh what 20 to go 16 to go all right well that's not counting the uh, uh tail lights though all righty it is a few hours later we got to chit chat with the neighbors here everybody is so cool even people from like blocks over are like i can't wait to see this bus finished which is, which is so cool so cool emma was able to <laughs> i don't know what she had going on here but she was able to actually stick uh um some uh styrofoam in the the bars that kind of hold us this way um, and we still need to finish up some spraying. We have some interior work to do, but the exterior uh, required a lot of attention today. We did get a nice, uh, hopefully, final uh, coat of paint on the roof. And uh, we got our lights back in. They need to be wired up, but they're back in. Uh, we need to do the lower lamps, of course, turn signals and such, um, and some touch-ups, most things edged uh, that can be, but God, I, it's gonna be hard to sell, but. The, the rain does not do good things to uh, paint before it dries. And just as I say that, of course it's raining. <sighs> Thanks for watching guys. We will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.